do you have a physical location or is it all sort of we do have a physical location it's my home but <laughs> the <laughs> the thing is that the it's with the diversity of things that the students are looking at and doing mm -hmm. one place one location isn't going to satisfy them mm -hmm. Tell, describe what you're providing since they're so independent so there are fluctuations mm. different years look differently okay. what the students need is different so mm. sometimes i will have kids start out by coming here every day or as often as their their parents want them to we also have a connection and partnership with a montessori school that is a day school mm. and after a brief interruption sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's okay <laughs> all right authenticity my life. right <laughs> and yes and and he's on the autism spectrum so mm. i have to make sure i make eye contact and let him know that he's heard yeah, yeah. like every child should right right <laughs> yeah yeah it's interesting because the you know the, there's so much concern about about people on the spectrum and 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 then there's you know programs and things to meet their needs uh, and it's ironic too because few too, too few, few programs um, yeah but it's so ironic because they they are doing exactly what all the kids need exactly <laughs> and the same is true whether they're on the spectrum or or genius or you know like gifted or you know it's like yeah. then they do the things that all the kids need but they only give it to those kids and they don't give it to all the kids so <laughs> when they ironic. have the when they have the uh, i always explain it to parents as when your child's learning to walk, mm. I said, you know, are you not paying any attention to them? Or are you like every other parent? Your arms are out wide. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. making eye contact with them. You're encouraging them. You're supporting them. And they take those first few steps. You didn't tell them how. You didn't right. tell them that they should. But you are doing the most important thing, which is engaging, appreciating, mm -hmm. accepting, and acknowledging what that child is doing right if we right. were like that for every single thing that the kids were doing all exactly. kids would be considered genius right and, <laughs> right you know because that's all they need is the support and the encouragement and the love and the care right. and that's i have families who contact me from all over the world mm -hmm. with autistic and and kids on the spectrum and and they just don't they people in their countries want to put them in asylums or right. you know institutions and the parents have to work who's yeah. who's going to be at home to engage with those children and give them the attention that they need mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and deserve right right and and that's where you know our society having a parent at home or older siblings, that kind of thing. That that's where the multi generational families become so important. Right. right. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.